This lesson is going to look at connecting Pixlr to Google Drive. Even on your own computer, if you use Google Drive, you can edit your images directly in Google Drive with Pixlr. You just need to connect it. Now this works best with the Chrome browser, given that Chrome is Google's browser. And I'm in Chrome at the moment. And if you go to a new tab, you'll see something called apps up here, which are all the apps that I have added to Chrome. So if I click that, there are a number of, of different apps that are integrated into Chrome that provide you with shortcuts. Now I can add all the Pixel. I haven't added the editor yet, but I could, I've added Pixelmatic and Pixel Express as apps within Chrome that I can use uh, directly. So if I wanted to, to edit something in Pixelmatic, I can just open it directly from the Chrome browser instead of going to pixlr.com and selecting Pixelmatic. And if you want to add more apps, there is a web store link. So down the bottom right here is the shortcut to the web store. You can also get it from the window extensions option which lists all of the extensions that I have added into Chrome and at the very bottom get more extensions or get more apps. Either way it, it takes me to the web store and there are a number of apps that you can add to Chrome and they usually are either given to you as we go into a new tab as shortcuts like this and then there are page after page of them and you can move them around so I can move that into this page, you can move everything around or else they're given to you as extensions which are up here and extensions are shortcuts to little program so I've got an extension here that will actually capture something, capture text and add it to uh, Google Drive or open my one password or connect me to my Plex account. Put all of the open tabs into one tab. So there are a number of extensions, one of which is Pixlr Editor. So let's go to the web store and I'll get to it from here, web store. And search for Pixlr and I want the Pixlr editor, but there are a number of categories and genres. So if we go back here, there's a whole lot of genres here. You can search by genre, or you can just scroll up and down until you find something that you fancy. But I know what I want, so I'm going to put Pixlr, Pixlr editor. So there's the Pixlr editor. I already have Pixlmatic added. It's got the tick to indicate that I have. Any Pixlr extensions are provided here and any themes. So this is the one I want so just tap the free button and add it. And now it's added to my list of apps. So if I want to use Pixlr instead of going to pixlr.com and selecting editor I can just go to a new page and click that and it will go to the same place. It's like a shortcut. More efficient now is the fact that you can link Pixlr Editor as well as Pixlr Express and Pixlmatic to your Google Drive. So if I went to my Google Drive and this is not going to work in a tablet or an iPad or a phone because Pixlr is flash based it won't work in those portable devices. To get this to work on Google Drive, you have to be on a computer. So either you know, any computer that has a flash enabled browser. Let's go to Google Drive. And these are all the, the files that I have in Google Drive. I've connected my Google Drive to my computer. Um, but if I want to now connect Pixlr to my Google Drive, I go into the gear manage apps and look for any of the apps that I have on my system that have been added to Chrome 
with Pixlr Editor. And it should be already connected and anything else that you want to connect to your drive. So I'll go to a picture. So I have a folder of pictures in here. And if I want to edit this picture, I can right click it and open it with Pixlr Editor, which will then go to the Pixlr uh, website. Before it lets me do that, I have to accept the permissions. And I have to do that once. And then it loads that image in from my Google Drive. And then I can edit it in the normal way, so I might rotate that. And then when I'm ready to save it, I can save it back into my Google Drive. Give it a different name. And save it back into the Google Drive, or I have all these other locations that I could save it to. Back into Google Drive. So when I go back into Google Drive, there's the, the image already there. So if you're working in the cloud in Google Drive, you can edit your images directly with Pixlr Editor or Pixlr Express. So I can open this, this one into Pixlr Express, which is a, di you know, a much different program to the Pixlr Editor that I can adjust it, rotate it, save as a copy, rotated and that will save back into the original location so now go back to close that and back into google drive there's the other image just rotated if i went into my google drive folder on my computer photos of panorama they're already there as well so that's my finder on my computer so if you are a Google Drive user, then this is well worth doing. Connect your Google Drive to Pixlr Editor and Pixlr Express. So that's all for this lesson.